it's Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely, and today we're getting super scientific. All right, guys, today's tutorial is all about. Oh my god! Glycerin. Yes, I have a ginormous bottle. You don't have to have this much. But we are going to break down everything about glycerin that has been asked, and I think we have the secret sauce of the right ratios of glycerin to water to make those soft, squishy, mendable, moldable, all the words, solo flowers. So let's jump right into this tutorial. So what's the big deal about glycerin and why are people wanting to use it with the solar flowers? What happens is the glycerin tends to soften the flowers when we dye them with latex or acrylic paint is what's normally used most of the time. You're putting basically a coat of something on top of the flowers, which then creates sometimes a little bit of brittleness or a little bit more tenderness to the flowers, making them a little bit more prone to break. Now I've been using acrylic and water just that for years now and there's sometimes breakage, but I don't have that big of an issue that it was bothering me. But glycerin was fascinating to me. So I've been playing with it for quite a while, and when you take, say, a raw flower, and there's squish, it squishes on its own. It's kind of got a foam feel, but you can hear some like cracking and things. Now when you dye the flower with glycerin, it becomes even more foam-like. And you can like full-on squish this, and manipulate it and then fluff it back out like you never did anything to it. Fascinating. So many solo flower artists now like to start to use glycerin, but we're trying to find the right ratios. And I think we found the right one where it's not too oily and feels like it's still wet, even though the flowers are dry, but just enough softness so that you can be a little bit more, not so gentle with the flower sometimes, and there's less proneage to breakage. So we're gonna jump into that, take a look at what ratios we found, as well as some other ways that you can use the glycerin and water, not just adding it straight to the paint. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. We found that the perfect ratio of water to glycerin, in our opinion, is four cups of water to a half a cup of glycerin, which would also be a one to eight ratio. So once you have the glycerin in the water, and I like to grab a popsicle stick, get all of the glycerin in there. Now, I do use tap water. You can use distilled water if you want. I tend to go through dyeing and using water up quite quickly. So I put this in a storable container, mix this all up. It will cloud the water a little bit, and if you look at it hard enough, you'll be able to see the glycerin to water kind of playing around in there. Then what I'll do is I'll set this aside for the next time I want to dye flowers and use this as my water to mix my acrylic or latex paint. So let's do that next. Okay guys, so one of the other things that you can do with glycerin is if you put it in a spray bottle, again with that one to eight ratio, shake it up a little bit each time that you use it. It doesn't matter, I think so, but I always just do it out of habit now at this point. You can take solo flowers that you've already dyed and if they're feeling a little, you're worried that they might be a little crunchy, a little brittle, what you can do is you can take your glycerin mix and spray it right on top of these flowers. Spritz it down, let it sit to dry, and it will soften up. Similar to when the when you're spritzing it down just with regular water and it softens up the petals so that you can move and manipulate them. When you're putting in that glycerin mixture, when it dries, it stays soft. 
when it's just straight water, it goes back to a little bit of that more stiffer feeling of the petals. So I'm kind of just feeling this, seeing if it's still making some crunchy kind of noises. So I'm gonna spritz it down some more. Typically, the paint doesn't reactivate or start to transfer or anything like that. Um, but just do it with caution. And the great thing is all of the overcast that's going on my hands is gonna make my hands nice and soft afterwards. All right, so I think I feel good about this one. I'm gonna set it down to dry. And once it's fully dry, it'll be soft and pliable just like the other flowers. All right, guys, that wraps up the Glycerin 101 tutorial. Now, there are a couple things I wanted to note. When you're using the glycerin and you have this water mix, uh, you want to mix this up each time before you add it to your paint, just for safety. Make sure that the oils and or the glycerin itself is mixed into the water before you're adding it to paint. You can also add straight glycerin to straight acrylic paint and do some of those um, brush techniques that we've done and then use water to thin it out. That's available too. Now if you want to find your own mixture, that's absolutely fine. Maybe you don't like the, the mixture that we're using. Maybe you want to add a little bit more glycerin or a little less. That's perfectly fine. One thing to note is the more glycerin you add, when it, the flowers dry, it's going to take them longer to dry. No longer that 24 hour period typically that it takes for acrylic and water based flowers. When you're using the glycerin, if you use a decent amount of it to water paint ratio, it's going to feel kind of oily or not quite dry, but the flowers are dry, like there's no paint coming off, but it has this soft, overly soft texture. It's, it's interesting. Once, you, once it happens once, you'll know what I'm talking about. So just play around with the ratios. Find the perfect ratio for you. We found that one to eight is the perfect ratio for us. One last thing I would suggest, do not, I repeat, do not put glycerin in your airbrush. It's just not meant for that. So please do not put glycerin in your airbrush if you're gonna airbrush your flowers. Typically when you're airbrushing flowers, the flowers stay soft because you're using a fine mist that's going over the flowers and there's not a, a decent amount of saturation that's happening on top of the petals of the flowers which is causing them sometimes to be brittle. So when you use an airbrush, you're typically okay not to use the glycerin, but if you really want glycerin after airbrushing, then do that spray down technique. Do not add glycerin to your airbrush, guys. Just trust me on that. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a little bit of a different one. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments and I'll answer them the best I can. I'm no expert in any way, even though I wear a lab coat on special occasions, but I will answer the questions as best as possible. If you're loving these tutorials, can't get enough, wanna know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and Ring that bell and to find out about the 150 plus solar flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to oyourlovely.com. This is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye guys! I'm like, I kind of want to try because apparently, two seconds, <gasps> no! <laughs>